What's going on guys? What's happening? My name is Infinix Z and I just finished watching the next generation Xbox console reveal conference and boy was it great guys. Now I'm going to be recapping some of the highlights of this event for those who didn't catch it or just want to recap. So uh, let's get started. Alright, so we will start with the meat of the whole event, the Xbox One. Yeah, the Xbox or Microsoft ended up calling the next generation Xbox, Xbox One, not Xbox Infinity or Durango like everybody thought. Because on their Microsoft eyes, it seems like it will become the only thing that you will need in your living room for media purposes. Now, the whole event started with the Xbox representative coming up there explaining the whole voice activation command, you know, such as turning on the Xbox by just saying Xbox turn on, how you can switch to your channels, Xbox dashboard, a movie, or Skype with voice commands. And yeah, Skype will be on your Xbox. Um, so, the software for the new dashboard was also revealed. You can see a picture on it right here on the screen. And it looks something similar to the interface found on modern Windows tablets and Windows phones. Um, the new software, which um, this was kind of crazy, it allowed for multitasking with the Xbox One hardware, which I'm going to show right here on the screen. Um, the Xbox One will pack 8 cores, 8 gigs of RAM, which I can assume they'll be using for the multitasking, and a 500 gigabyte hard drive. A Blu-ray disc player, which I think everybody knew that Microsoft had to implement to the Xbox One, um, which you know it will allow for bigger games in space-wise and will result in a better-looking game and pretty much better everything. Um, yeah, and it will contain an 801 point, uh, 802.11 and a wireless Wi-Fi receiver, which means you can pretty much just use Wi-Fi on it. Um, of course, it will have an HDMI in and out and a USB 3.0, which um, it's pretty due for everything. I think nowadays with a USB 3.0 out, well, I think everything needs to have 3.0 on on it. Now, as I kept staring at these photos of the Xbox One, I just couldn't keep my eyes away from the bulky side and, uh, of the Xbox One, and kind of looks to me like a VCR. <laughs> And um, I I don't know it just looks to me like a VCR and um, but I can't really tell from the photo how big it is um, or the live event for that and I just don't know the dimensions of the console but it does look a little bit bulky um, but let's move on to the Kinect um, this I'm not really gonna buy the Kinect actually but for those who sound interested on the Kinect it will contain a 1080p HD camera as well as time of flight technology which just does better motion tracking and registers motion a little bit better um, and of course the Kinect will also have a microphone air race which is a big shocker right it will help with the Xbox ability to uh, interpret voice commands um, and now that I've shown you the Xbox One specs and the connects let me show you the Xbox One's controller which got a little bit of an upgrade but not really as you can see on the screen Microsoft decided to make the Xbox One controller a little bit slicker than the 360's uh, but of course you still have your standard caved in joysticks d-pad and your standard ABXY buttons the infamous thing about this is that it doesn't seem to be clear that uh, if batteries will be like on the 360s where you can't really charge your controller to the console like on the PS3 and that's been a really infamous thing about the 360s controller just not not being able to plug in your controller onto the console and just relying on spare batteries in your house to use which hopefully they change this a little bit on the Xbox one we can only hope for that um, but apart from all the hardware that Microsoft showed the developer from Halo decided to move the game into a live action TV series for the Xbox One, which will be directed by the man himself, Steven Spielberg. And uh, this actually kind of subscribed me, it surprised me, and I got a little bit pumped because even though I'm not a Halo player, uh, I got a little bit pumped because um, it's just, you know, it's a game turned into a live TV series. I mean, who doesn't want to see that? But apart from this, 
in the game section. There wasn't a lot. It was just mainly EA Sports, which I'm not really into. You know, they showed uh, soccer, American football, and UFC. They mentioned those. And they also mentioned 15 new franchises that will be entering the game market for Xbox One. Towards the end of the reveal, Microsoft finally let somebody go up on the platform and talk about Call of Duty Ghosts. Now, before you get all pumped about this, I gotta tell you guys that no real gameplay was actually shown. And uh, what I mean by that is that they only showed cinematics and stuff like that. They showed off like the new graphics that are capable of being constructed by the, the new console. And the differences between Modern Warfare 3 graphics and Call of Duty Ghost graphics. They also mentioned the ability to... <laughs> and actually when they mentioned this, Twitter blew up. Like everybody was like, holy crap. Um, they, they added for multiplayer and campaign the ability to lean dive or just something like that. I forgot what they called it. And the ability to leap over walls, which, um, as I said, Twitter went crazy. But apart from all of this, nothing else was shown for Call of Duty Ghosts. No, like, real campaign gameplay or stuff like that, which is, you know, the guy lied to us. He told us that he was going to show us some gameplay, but he didn't. But Call of Duty Ghosts will come out November the 5th, 2013. Now, what you're asking yourself right now is what's going to be the price, date of release, and I'm sadly to say that they didn't actually address those things. They did say the the day when they were going to release them. And you can see that right now. And it says around the world next year. Which doesn't give us any information whatsoever. Apart from the fact that it's going to be coming out in the next 8 months. But the price wasn't talked about at all. And if you were to give, like, tell me to give an estimate. I would say around 500 US dollars to 800 US dollars with the Kinect console and controller. Seems a little bit pricey, but from the specs and just everything we've seen right there, it does look around that range. But in conclusion, the Microsoft reveal got a lot of positive feedback, more than even Sony's uh, thing a couple months ago. And um, But more information will be released at E3 for both the consoles and... In the meantime, make sure to hit me with a like down below. Make sure to subscribe. As always, it's been Infinite XZ, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace. We just are you using the LSAT? Yeah. Plus, I didn't have a swarm, by the way. I just remember I just. Yeah, cause I got it like that. Flow so smooth, like I got it on tap. Yeah, and I'ma say it be a good night.